Bonjour, mon petit chef, Le Amber here. And it has been so long since I've sat down and done a book video. So I'm here to sit down and talk about some books. My birthday just passed in September and Book Outlet just had this huge sale. So it's fairly obvious that it was high time for me to do a haul. So majority of this haul is this big old box of Book Outlet which I'm actually not going to pick up yet. I'm going to save those for last. I had to wait to do this video until today because three books just came in the mail from Amazon like literally 20 minutes ago. So I'm going to stop babbling I'm going to jump right in. Also please ignore the foundation on my sweatshirt. Also last bit of business I am sick let's address the elephant in the room so I'm very sorry for how my voice sounds how nasally and congested I sound. Okay. Uh, the first book is actually something I just picked up at Walmart. I was there the other, the other night, I saw it, and I wasn't going to walk by it because it's Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. This is John Green's new book, and I'm so excited for it. I love John Green so much, I love all of his books. Great guy, great author, and I am so stoked to read this. They're you really thought I was going to walk by a John Green book and like be comfortable not owning it. I don't even know what this is about, honestly. Six-year-old Aza, Aza? Never intended to receive it. Okay, there's some detective work and also ever-tightening spiral of her own thoughts, so I'm assuming this is going to deal with mental illness. Actually, before I go into the books in my Amazon order, these aren't necessarily books, but it kind of goes with the theme because these are... Um, part of my prep for NaNoWriMo. I am doing NaNoWriMo this year. Pray for me y'all. Well, therefore I'm starting a new novel, new story. <sighs> so I needed a new notebook for said story. I went to Marshall's and I picked up this notebook. It says think big, believe big, and all the and the results will be big. And I just thought it was really nice. It's nice and big so I can write scenes in it, especially like when I'm out. So. I have an addiction to journals. I bought like three other ones while I was there, but you don't need to see those. They have nothing to do with anything. And I also finally got my hands on one of these loose, loose charm? I don't know how to pronounce this. The bullet journal. Because of the forums and the, the chat boards, I don't know what, Amber, for NaNoWriMo, a lot of people talk about uh, prepping for NaNo and plotting out their story, whatever, using bullet journals. So. I decided to give it a try. Also practice for bullet journaling for 2018. I've been watching a lot of prep, uh, plan with me videos and bullet journal videos and I'm kind of obsessed. Moving on into the books that I got from Amazon. I got three and the first two are actually uh, part of the same series. I picked up three Dark Crowns and one Lord, and one Dark Throne by Kendar Blake. I've heard a lot of good things about these books or this book. Um, I haven't really watched any reviews on this because this just came out. This, from what I've gathered, is about three sisters. They are all in line for the throne and basically they have to like kill each other off to claim the throne. That's all I know. I think there's some sort of like magic involved. Three dark queens are born in a glen. Sweet little triplets will never be friends. Three dark sisters, all fair to be seen, two to devour and one to be queen. And this is obviously the sequel. I have so many books to read already. I don't even know when I'm going to get around to this. And the last book I picked up from Amazon. I have already read. I already own. But it's one of my favorite books. So I saw the this edition, this version, and I had to get it. On Amazon, it's The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. And this is the special anniversary edition. The version I have is paperback, and it's the movie cover on it. I love this cover. Um, I love this book so much. It's one of my favorites. And the movie is one of my favorites. I watch it almost every night. Am I crazy or is this bigger than my book? I don't know. Oh, if you don't know, The Book Thief is about a young girl living in World War II Nazi occupied Germany. She's German. She gets taken in by a foster family and it's about basically uh, the war through the eyes of a child and she loves words and learning and then there's Max. Let's see. 
what the special anniversary edition includes. A new introduction by the author, excerpts from the author's notebook, oh that's fun, handwritten notes from the manuscript, the author's original sketches for the illustrations in the book. Ooh, it's white. That's like a, a naked book. There's this, I don't know if you can see this little, it's kind of like etched into it and in the spine, the words in red. I think that will look really nice on a bookshelf too, even without the actual, the, um, what is this called? The cover. Okay, here we go. Hold on, let me lift this up. No, oh my god! We move into this big old box from Book Outlet. I spent so many, so much money on Book Outlet. I got too many books. I haven't unboxed it, obviously. I haven't gone through it. I wanted to do it all on camera. Also, there's a lot of box to be toting around. And I have to figure out a place to put them. I'm just gonna dive right in. So the first book on the top is Ghostly Echoes by William Renner, which is the third book in the Jack B series, which I've been reading for a while. I really like these books. I really like this cover. Purple is my favorite color, so I think this looks really, really nice. The Jack B series, basically, it's about a girl named Abigail who is an assistant to uh, Jack B, who's kind of like a supernatural detective. He's like Sherlock Holmes for the supernatural realm. And they solve mysteries. The last, in the second book, there was some sort of mystery and there were dragons involved and shape-shifting kittens. But it's not really a deep, dark book. It's just fun and fast-paced and I just really like it. I want to finish the series. So the next book that I grabbed is Shadow and Bo Bone by Lee Bardugo. So the author of Six of Crows and the one that comes after that that I can't remember the name of. I actually don't really know what this is about but I hear a lot of people talking about this, not just this book, this series, but like Lee Bardugo um, in general and I've heard a lot of good things so I'm very interested. Also I really want to read Six of Throws, Crows and the one after that, I can't remember what it's called. They're all set in the same world, I think these come before that, like I want to understand the world before I go into the book. Next is another book that I read and love so much. I just actually never owned it and it's also been on my wish list for Book Outlet forever and when the sale happened and I had just gotten paid I was like okay there's I'm not going to pass it up again. It was not that expensive on Book Outlet and like I said I love the book, I love the movie. It's The Boy in the Striped Pajamas by John Boyne. This is the 10th anniversary edition. All these, oh why is it sticky? Mm. This one also says bonus content inside so I have a lot of like special edition books. This is about the Holocaust. Um, it's another book that's like the Holocaust through a child's eyes. This one's a little bit darker than The Book Thief in my opinion. It's sadder, more sad to me. Um, it's heartbreaking. The next one's a book I've wanted for a very long time. I always see it in the bookstore but I always opt for another book. <laughs> And it is Crimson Bound by Rosamund Hodge, who's also the author of Cruel Beauty, which is also which is another one I want. Cruel Beauty, I believe, is a retelling of Beauty and the Beast. I think this one, I think this one's a retelling of Little Red Riding Hood. I believe. Yeah, inspired by the classic fairy tale Little Red Riding Hood. I love retellings and books inspired by fairy tales. Obviously, I'm writing one. Cool Beauty at one point was on Book Outlet, so I'm waiting for it to come back so I can order that too. Next book I got is another one that I've heard a lot of good things about, a lot of people talk about it. It's Scythe by Neil Schusterman. You know, I didn't know how to pronounce that word for a very long time, and that's really embarrassing. Humanity has conquered all those things and has, oh, a world with, that, with no hunger, no disease, no war, no misery. Humanity has conquered all those things and has even conquered death. So basically now, like, the only way that a human can be killed is through a scythe. Scythes are the only ones who can end life, and they are commanded to do so in order to keep the size of the population under control. The teens must master the art of taking life, knowing that the consequence of failure could mean losing their own. The next is another sort of, like, retelling, more of, like, um, what's it called? An origin story. This is Queen of Hearts by Colleen Oakes, which I believe is the origin story or like a, yeah, for of the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland. Ooh, but when betrayal breaks her heart and threatens her throne, she's launched into Wonderland's dangerous political game. Dinah must say one step ahead of her cunning enemies or she'll lose not just the crown, but her head. Oh, 
off with his head. I love Alice in Wonderland. I love the world of Wonderland. So that's exciting. Next, another theme of retelling. This is The Forbidden Wish by Jessica Corey. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. And this is, um, I won't say, I don't know if retelling is the right word of Aladdin, but it is about Aladdin and, um, the genie in the lamp, or the Ginny in the lamp. Zara, I believe her name is. So, my boo thing, Aladdin, is in this story, so I'm pretty excited. This will maybe fill the void in my heart since I have yet to reread The Wrath and the Dawn. I keep saying I want to reread it this year, or I want to reread it soon, but I have like so many other books on my TBR. Um, so I'm not sure if I'll read it before 2018. The next book is something I had never heard of before. I saw it and it looked really interesting. If you've watched any of my other book videos, you've heard where I've talked about my love of um, historical fiction, specifically historical fiction set during World War II. And this is one of them. This is Everyone Brave is Forgiven by Chris Cleave. <coughs> the day war is declared, Mary North leaves finishing school unfinished, goes straight to the war office and signs up. Uh, Mary's certain she'd be a marvelous spy, uh, but then she's made a teacher. She finds herself defying prejudice to, to protect the children her country would rather forget. It's set in London during between 1939 and 1942. It says features a little known history in a perfect wartime love story inspired by the real life love letters between Chris Cleve's grandparents. That's cute. The next book is a book by an author that I am quite fond of. I read a lot of her books. I, think I dare say her most popular book is one of my favorite books. This book is The Other Queen by Philippa Gregory, author of The Other Bullying Girl. This is, I believe, the story of Mary Queen of Scots, or a story about, not the story of, but a story about Mary Queen of Scots. And obviously I ordered this while I was still on my rain high. I miss rain so much. <laughs> my mom just asked me, I was say yes, she's like, don't you miss rain? And I was like, you have no idea. And now Adelaide is on Once Upon a Time playing uh, Cinderella's evil stepsister. Once again, I love historical fiction. I love anything, actually. It's World War II historical fiction and also historical fiction set like during like the Elizabethan era. Another very popular book in the booktube world, I have another one I've been meaning to read for ages, is The Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. It's, it's very popular in booktube, I've heard a lot of good things about it, I've been meaning to read it forever. So here we are. <laughs> I'm like maybe halfway done. The next book, <laughs> I am a very big fan of The Bachelor franchise. I'm huge part of Bachelor Nation. In fact, um, a while ago from Book Outlet, I ordered Courtney. She was on Ben, not Ben Higgins, the other Ben season. She was like the villain of that season and she wrote a book. <laughs> and I've yet to read it, but I'm really excited because she spills all types of tea. So this time around, I picked up It's Not Okay by Andy Dorfman, who I love so much. Her season of The Bachelorette was maybe one of my favorites. It's Turning Heartbreak heartbreak into happily never after and I wanted to buy this because I wanted to read her story about what happened between her and Josh if you don't watch The Bachelor or The Bachelor you have no idea what I'm talking about the next book is another one I had never really heard about it was Oprah's book selection Oprah's 2009 book selection for her book club and Oprah's my queen so it's Say You're One of Them by Uwem Akpan. I hope I am pronouncing that right. If I'm not, I'm very sorry. This is a collection of stories, I believe. It says, each story in this jubilantly acclaimed collection pays tribute to the wisdom and resilience of children, even in the face of the most agonizing circumstances. So I believe this is a collection of stories about children in Africa. I and mean, anything Oprah tells me to read, I'll read. <sighs> I got one more side panel of books. We're almost, we're almost done, guys. Okay, the, yet another popular booktube book. It's Salt to the Sea by Rudas Sapitas. Okay, yeah, this is another World War II um, historical fiction. But this takes place, I don't remember where this takes place. Lifts the veil on a shockingly little known casualty of World War II. World War II historical fiction. But yeah, I've heard that this is like a really good book. 
I've heard all of the books that I bought are really good books or else I wouldn't have bought them, but everyone that's read this has loved it. I've heard it was like a very emotional book too. Alrighty. The next book has been in my cart for ages and I'm finally getting around to purchasing it. It's My Life on the Road by Gloria Steinem. Feminist queen, feminist icon. If you're part of Emma Watson's book club, this is the book of the month. Uh, this is one of the first ones. Um, I saw her speak at the Women's March and it was really one of the best moments of my life. The next book is The Association of Small Bombs by Karen Mahajan. This book basically takes place surrounding and after a um, terror attack in Delhi and it's basically about the effects of terrorism and like its victims and perpetrators and it just seems really interesting. I also really like the cover. It looks really nice. This also reminds me of Styles' um, what is it? The board where he like solves all his crimes. Two more. Two more books. Two more books. This one is The Three by Sarah Lotz. I never heard of this but um, I was looking for something sort of like dark and mysterious to read around Halloween. This is sort of like an apocalyptic type book from what I've gathered. There are like, hold on, let me see, four s simultaneous plane crashes, three ch child survivors, and then, um, yeah, it says a religious fanatic who insists the three are the harbingers of the apocalypse. The last book is actually the sequel to the book I'm reading now, and it's Wind Witch by Susan Denard. I'm currently reading Truth Witch, and um, it's good. I I read so slowly now, and it's so frustrating because I used to zip through books like nothing. Um, but as of right now, it's good. It's picking up. Actually, I feel like I'm holding myself back with the reading because I just read um, Flame of the Mist by Renee Akia, and I literally flew through that. It was so good. I love her writing so much. So like, I feel like I. Like, I felt like she was like bringing me out of my slump. Yes, queen, I trust you. So hopefully like I'll stop being distracted by everything else and be able to like really fully submerge because I really like the book and I'm really interested to see where it's going. And this is the sequel. I can't really tell you too much about it because one, knowing too much with reading the flat would spoil where the book's, go the first one's going for me. And since I'm reading it right now, I'll let it be. Those are all the books that I got recently from Book Outlet and Amazon and Walmart. <laughs> And I have no idea where we're going to put any of them, but I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you like me, feel free to subscribe. All my places are down here so you can follow me and I'll follow you back and we can be buds. And I'll see you very soon. Bye!